mind if I take a seat and share the fire with your friend? brings you to this part of the world. Finish business. You got a name, friend? We ain't got no name, stranger. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Suppose we come out here to lose them. You play? Sometimes. Play us a tune? No. Okay. I suppose you staying on up at the ranch then? Stupid question. I mean... Where else would you be staying? The nearest town is about what? A 20 mile away? 18. Yeah, I wonder why people always want to come up out here. I mean, with all the rattlers and stuff. Some men are just desperate, I guess. Are you a desperate man then, friend? I just got caught up in the night. You going home? We ain't got no home, stranger. You and me are very similar, I think. How's that? Well, we don't know where we're going. We sure know where we're at. <laughs> so you got any family waiting for you in the morning? Listen, stranger, I'm tiring of your questions. What is your business here? Family. No. What is your business here? Wait, you said you didn't have no family. I don't have no family waiting. the smoke nope don't smoke what's with the matches then what's with the questions I'm just trying to be friendly pass the time oh, I used to smoke made my breathing go bad I like the smell of a burning match. Helps keep me calm. You a stress man then, friend? No. I'm an angry man. See. That's um pretty beat up. Don't you want to get a new one? Had one.
You want one? No, thanks. I don't like tomato. You like cheese, though. Yeah, I like cheese. Just not tomato. No. Because it makes the bread go soggy, right? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, you're right. Some folk don't like that. You don't say a lot, do you, friend? I don't got nothing to say. But you're one of the quiet ones. And the quiet ones always got something to say. I said, I ain't got nothing to say. You a doing kind of man then? I do what I do. What's that then? Like hurting people? And why would you go say something like that? You look like you do. How do I look like? Like you like hurting people, friend. I think you better stop asking questions. Or I'll show you how I look. Forgive me, friend. I'm tired. Sometimes my tongue gets carried away with words. You sure you don't want the rest of my sandwich? I'll take the tomato out. Bread's soggy. So it is. <laughs> so it is. You staying or going? From the town, I mean. Going. Me too. Been here long? Couple days. You much of a traveling man? You seen any other places? Nope. Ask me if I've been there before. Say again? Ask me if I've been here before. Why? Ask me, have I ever been here before? Have you ever been here before? I grew up here. Nice story. You like it? Like what? The town, I mean. I already said, no. So now you have a resident from this town sitting in front of you. Do you like it? Well, I suppose it's a lot nicer than some other places down here. What about it seems nice? I just said, it just seems nice. You like the people? People are nice. That you like hurting people. I never said that. But that's what you do. Listen. Now, I don't know who you are, stranger, or what your game is, but I am getting tired of this shit.
Don't you utter one more word to me, or I will cut your fucking tongue right out your mouth. Do you hear? <laughs> Alas, we have a confession. Wait, friend. Cut my tongue out and not go hear my side of the story. I don't give a rat's ass about your story. I guarantee you, you're gonna want to hear it. And if you've been listening from the start, you wouldn't be in the situation that you're in right now. And what situation is that? Because where I'm standing, I'm about to come over there and cut your fucking tongue out your mouth. What? Where'd you get this? If you cut my tongue out, you ain't gonna hear the rest of my story. Let me tell you a little about myself. You so firmly failed to ask me about me. I like money. I like money a lot. I love money. I love it to death. I would kill for money. I'd kill for money. I'd kill for money. My friends like money nearly as much as me. But I love it the most, so I'm in charge. The problem is, a lot of people love money, but not everybody can have money. And those who have money don't like to share their money. Sometimes you gotta take the things you want, don't you? Asking for things only gets you so far. You like money, don't you? I know you do. I know you. Problem is, when you got an obsession, an addiction like me and you do, you gotta take to fuel our addiction. And some folk, they really don't like that. No, I wasn't always rich. My family, we, we used to be real poor. So I like to surprise my mama when I can, like on her birthday. That's a good time to surprise your mama. So lo and behold, when I came into this sniveling little town a few days ago to see my mom for her birthday, I was real excited. I bought a real nice present too. Can you guess what I bought her? Tomatoes. I bought her tomatoes. My mama loved tomatoes. Now imagine how my day was ruined when I burst into my mama's little house, shouting, happy birthday, mama. That tucked up in bed with a knife right through her heart. I'll tell you something, that day was pretty fucking ruined. Now look, I know I'm a bad guy and I know I piss people off, but I didn't know I was that bad. I had a reputation, a bounty, blah blah blah, but it was at this point I knew I was real bad. Shall I tell you how I knew I was real bad, friend? When you real bad. I mean, really, really bad. Folks don't want to kill you no more. They want to make you suffer. They want to bring your world down around you until you're the last one left in your kingdom. So that's why my mama died. Because I'm real bad. Sure, it's a compliment. I mean, I made it, haven't I? But my mama was still dead. I mean, who could I turn to? The sheriff's department? Nah, I'd be dragging by my neck before I got the words out. Nah, I had to work this out for myself. So as my mama laid there, a brilliant crimson shining around her neck, you know what I did? I went to make myself sing. Now, in times of crisis, my mama always used to make a cheese and tomato sandwich. There was never any cheese without a tomato. Never. My mama refused. Now, she knew that for her birthday, I always bought her tomatoes. So she always had a fresh block of cheese ready waiting for me and her. Problem is, when I went to make myself a sandwich, somebody already been at the cheese. Now that didn't make a lot of sense to me. Cause my mama looking at it, God bless her soul, been killed only a few hours prior to my arrival. 
So where the fuck was my fucking cheese? Then I thought, killing people's hungry work. So the fucker that killed my mama must have had cheese without a tomato. Now, as I wandered about, start seeing things, you know, little peculiarities. I see on the floor on more than one occasion a burnout matchstick lying there, discarded like a little burnt man to a crisp. My own my, I thought. Killer really made himself at home. But he made mistakes. Do you wanna know what really the biggest mistake he made was? Do you? Sitting there in your lap. I've been thinking at it. I think I knew your mama, friend. Looks like I found myself some family business. I think you did know my mama, stranger. You don't find yourself into some finish. you dig me up from under this tree don't you hear me calling don't you feel my cold breath don't you want to hold my dirty I need some gauze I think my fool